my name is Pixie and I'm here um, to answer some questions from Sha Sha Sha. Um, as you can see, I live in uh, Brooklyn, New York. We just had a snowstorm lasted for two days. It has stopped now. Um, there's just a lot of snow outside. Um, um, that photo shoot that we did at Morris Grandma's house um, that is a little different photo shoot for me because usually when I first go into a photo shoot I already had a, a very detailed plan of um, what photos I'm going to be take um, in that location but um, at that time we were just visiting um, Morris home and um, his, his grandma's house is right next to his parents' house, so it's um, close to, right next to where we live. Um, so that photo shoot wasn't that planned. And also, I think before we do the photo shoot, we went inside of the house and did a um, kind of like location scout. And I was looking for places that suitable for doing a photo shoot and at the time we we came upon some tanka poems grandma made um and those poems are um like everyday life like short poems but one of them stood out to me um i didn't <laughs> Um, understand Japanese that well so I have to ask for a translation from Moro um, so that the poem is something about um, uh, my husband is still not familiar with the lawnmower or is still struggling with the lawnmower and the morning sun was hitting on his sweaty back. And when I read that poem, it suddenly, the poem is so vivid, it kind of um, took me back to one of the day in their life. And, and I, I felt like I could see what she saw at the time. And then I had this feeling um, about about like the time that they spent together their whole life in that old house, um, and we were there, dressed up, mm, not dressed up, but. Uh, we were there as if we were reliving their life. It's um, it was the the poem somehow changed what I was thinking usually during a photo shoot. It gave me the mood, and as if we were surrogates for Moro's grandpa and grandma. Like we we were just like them, and it feels like the time it's passing, and people grow old, and they might pass away, and generation after generation, we we were actually just repeating their life. So um, that was something really different. Um, for that photo shoot that grandma's tanka poem changed my view about um, the role of husband and wife I felt like it's a great investment of somebody's life and the two people 
they decide to just spend their whole life together. That is something um, sweet and sad at the same time. Um, so that was what I was thinking and doing the photo shoot and then that kind of changed the mood of those photographs. Um, like I just talked about. So the main change is I think those photos are um, no longer about us, about me. It's more about um, people in a long committed relationship together in general. And I think it's more about um, a partnership and it's about the time they spend together. Mm. So his grandma's house is right next to where we lived um, is his parents' house. So um, it wasn't a photo trip for us. It's more family visit. The most time we spent there was to um, be with family and do family events. And also um, he grew up in a very different environment than I did. I grew up um, in Shanghai. So all I know was like um, buildings, streets, but his house is um, in the middle of a mountain. So that was a, a very refreshing experience for me, um, living so close to nature. And I really enjoyed um, just going out of the house and take a walk um, in, in the mountain. It was, um, it was very, missed especially right now